Hey, good morning, guys. It's been a while since I've uh, made a video, um, so sorry about that. Um, but I wanted to show you uh, something new that I'm gonna attempt to use here. Um, so I found one of my birds has uh, one or two lice on uh, on its um, flight feathers. Now I know it's probably normal to have one or two. I mean you know believe me it's not an infestation or anything but still it's kind of gross and i don't like it um so and you know you don't want it to get worse either right so um you know in the past i've used uh, that spray on bottle i think it, it was on one of my youtube videos but i mean it's effective if you spray it on directly but i don't really want to catch every single one of my birds to spray them so instead um i've been reading up on this product um, permethrin, 10%. <clears throat> I bought this in, um, on Amazon, but you can get this at your local, you know, horse supply or, um, like tractor supply or something like that. Um, you know, um, I'm going to just kind of start out with, you know, one or two teaspoons. Um, this is the bucket that I use, you know give them a bath um, so I'm just gonna use one or two teaspoons uh, for now um, and see how that works um, I'm mainly gonna use it on my flying log I don't know if I really want my I'm you know my last stages of breeding right now so I don't want them to actually feed this stuff to the babies in case they drink it which I know they will um, so, but it should be pretty safe I done quite a bit of research on it so as long as you don't overdose them I think it should be fine but I'm gonna try a very small dose uh, to start out with and see if that clears things out so anyways so stay tuned um, you know I'll, um, I'll probably post another video in a week I'll give it a week um, that'll give them about two two to three baths uh, in a week and then uh, you know I'll reinspect the birds at least the bird that i found the lice on and uh see if uh, that cleared up so anyways stay tuned all right so this is my aviary for my breeders uh you know you can see there's the babies there i just wanted to see i have an access door here so if i need to give them that and things like that um sorry kind of hard to do with one hand all right, I'll get back to that. But anyways, so in case uh, for those of you who are new tuning in, this is my loft, breeding loft, uh, 10 by 16, flying loft, same size, 10 by 16. This one has an attached aviary, which is six by six by six, you know, six by six by six. Um, I'm actually gonna redo this because I'm planning on putting my hens in here after the breeding season, which will be pretty soon. I used a small screen, quarter inch screen. Um, you can see it doesn't work very well. Um, some of the poop just stays there and it's kind of gross. I just kind of want it to fall down the bottom. Um, I've, the reason why I use that is I've had problems with snakes here. So, you know, but I'm just gonna use this to keep my hands during off season. So the window is gonna be shut. So it's not gonna be an issue. Um, but even with the half inch screen mesh, you know, you probably get little snakes through, which I don't care if they make it in, I'll just catch them and chuck them, you know, do whatever with it. But I also have these uh, mosquito netting you know, it's like a pool netting kind of thing that just so, you know, prevent mosquitoes from coming in. They still get in, but at least it's not going to be like a swarm of them. But it's very helpful and it still lets the sunlight in. And I also recently built this uh, front aviary, um, which I really, really like actually. I put their drinks out here. Um, you can see I've got... This is for their shower. 
So that's all built in. They got even got a little shower head. I don't know if you can see that. But, but I also put the bath water down there. So and then I tapped into this. So into the uh, drinking water. So once a week I clean the drinking water out, obviously. But this this is just attached. I mean, it's on a timer, so. Every hour it comes on, birds get fresh water all the time, each and every time. So, just some of uh, some snapshot of my breeders. <laughs> I got my green peppers here, and this guy's not doing so well. It's uh, supposed to be eggplant, but they produce and then they pretty much die right after. Got my chicken coop over there. I got about 12 chickens, hens. And then this is my flying loft. I got two sections to this, so 10 by eight and a 10 by eight. Planning on, uh, you know, using one for the current season and then old birds I put in here. This makes it easier to train them. So, I think I can probably hold, I don't know, 25, 25, 25, 75. Oh, I probably could get, uh, I could get 200 perches in here if I wanted to. But that might be a little too much. But two landing boards, one on each side. Um, so, and then I've got the uh, see-through roof material. Give them a little bit of sunlight. And at night I got uh, lighting, one on each side. I keep the lights on until 10 o'clock at night and then shut them off, you know. It's on a timer as well, so. And I put my feed right here. So, anyways, that's my setup. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a bat, and like I said, tune in next uh, week. Uh, so, subscribe and like. Uh, and that way you can see the results. Uh, again, just a recap. I'm gonna found a couple of lice in my flying birds. Uh, at least one of them, but I'll assume that you know most of them have it, just the way I am. So I'm gonna try to use this because I don't really want to spray them down each and every time. There's so many birds here, so probably have close to I don't know 50 birds right now, flying birds. Um, so I'm gonna try to use this product and see if it works. So, um, so yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe uh, so you can catch the latest updates. Thank you. Come on, guys. Let's get rid of that. Set the food tray aside. in I got this bucket here there we go all right okay. put a little bit of water in and throw the product in and running too slow so let's crank it up a little there we go all right i'm gonna set the camera down um so i can work with my hands both hands I got one or two in the bath. Usually they just jump right in, but I gotta sus um, I suspect that they can probably smell that product and they're a little bit leery, you know, to just jump in, which I don't blame them. But, uh, but yeah, usually they fight over the water, so 
but I'm gonna leave it there and then uh, like I said uh, just tune in subscribe like uh, so you catch the update and I'll let you know how this product works um, you know and uh, hopefully you'll be able to show you before and after so but like I said it's not an infestation so it's really not a big deal I mean it's pretty normal to have you know to find one or two um, creatures on your bird but what you don't want is an infestation and this is why I'm using the product I have a pretty good method in the past but like I said with this many pigeons it's just kind of hard to spray them all individually you know I got a job too so full-time job and family to take care of so that's more important um, so I'm gonna give this a shot and uh, you know hoping uh, to share some information with you guys and uh, so just tune in subscribe all right god bless guys thank you